Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you and share with you a video at the end of how I told my kids about the Santa secret. So if you are around little children and you don't want them to hear about Santa, what I'm about to share with my kids, make sure that you lower the volume, put some headphones on. Um, so all of that in today's video. Today's video is not my typical type of video. My channel explores what it means to follow Jesus in an everyday kind of way. I have interviews and I explore books and different topics, everything having to do with uh, subjects on Christianity and how that impacts our life in different areas. And so if you are new here, please subscribe and follow along in this YouTube journey of mine. But I have to say, it's been like two years since I began recording videos on this channel. And I am at 999 subscribers and I would love it if you would um, help me have 1,000 subscribers. So if a few of you guys could subscribe to this channel, maybe you listen to my videos but you haven't you know, committed to me on YouTube, please go ahead and do that. It would help me to get to the next step on this um, YouTube channel. And also, if you would like to become a supporter, a patron for this channel, you appreciate the content, you look forward to these videos, and you want to see more in the future, one way of letting me know, hey, keep going, is to become a supporter on Patreon, or even just a one-time uh, donation. And all of the information, I'll link it in the description. You can go to my website, susanmorales.org, and um, do that. I actually appreciate um, my current patron who is there, and I'm able to use that money that I'm getting to uh, financially like pay for the projects that I'm doing, um, one thing is music. Um, m my husband and I um, feel that we can record music um, and spread the message of the gospel through our songs. And so like, for example, right now, I'm about to go and uh, share a new, a new song that's on my music YouTube channel currently. We made a music video a little while ago, um, Susan and Ron. And um, it's called um, Emmanuel. But um, we hadn't shared it on like music platforms. So thanks to my Patreon, I'm going to be able to do that today. I'm going to, um, you know, make that payment and upload that song so that if you guys enjoy listening to our songs, you can do it on your favorite music platform. So I just wanted to share that real quick. And so let me talk to you about um, why I'm making this different type of video. This video in a sense is like kind of already celebrating the fact that we've reached a thousand subscribers. Um, it's crazy because in the beginning, I, I remember when I was just like three, three subscribers <laughs> and, um, it's, it's been a, it's taken a little while, but, um, we're, we've pretty much gotten there thanks to you guys. And so I wanted to share a video that, um, kind of lets you know another side of me. I don't know if you follow my um, other YouTube channel, The Honest Homeschooler. There you can see more of like vlog uh, videos of me being a mother, <laughs> um, a homeschool mom. But I wanted to share this video just to kind of show you the other like side of me, the 
you could say like the real me because that's what my whole life looks like pretty much it's very rare when i'm like just able to have some quiet time to myself and sit down and talk about these things most of my life is just like what do you need and helping out the little kids and um, homeschooling them and baths and all of that so here the clip that i'm going to show you i'm just like we're getting ready for bed and um, so here's the backstory i was just sitting on that couch back there uh two days ago and my daughter she's uh seven years old and my son is six years old just so you know so sadie she just randomly said to me something like hey mom you know are you the one that puts the gifts in our christmas stockings on christmas eve and um and she pretty much said you have to tell me you have to you have to tell me the truth and you know okay so <laughs> it's one of those difficult things because in our culture that's like almost expected of us to raise our kids um, with this kind of innocence when it comes to Santa Claus and um, so I, I've never really been too sure about whether I want to like you know push this narrative onto my kids or, or to take that away from them like right away and never teach them about it it's really hard because they have um, just everybody that you you watch like on YouTube videos or movies or just even going to the store like there's Santa Claus everywhere so um, they're taught if not by you by someone else um, even family members or friends you know dentists um, they all talk about those things right so um, so for me I was like okay when when my kids have brought up Santa I've just um, talked about like I've tried not to like lie to them because I really try to be truthful and honest with them I believe we should as parents be as honest as possible I remember being shocked as a child when I caught my mom <laughs> telling me a lie and I just thought no you like grown-ups my mom she never lies but when that happened it just kind of it was mind-blowing but I've kind of carried that on as an adult and I really don't want to lie to my kids um, so <laughs> I felt like I would be lying if I tell them about Santa Claus, but at the same time, I remember my one of my sisters, I don't think she'll mind me sharing this with you, she, um, she has really happy memories of like one moment in particular where it was Christmas and there was an extra present under the tree. And she says that my dad, uh, they were wondering like, how did that present get there? And then my dad, like turned to her and with a look and and he said something like santa and she remembers just like wow you know <laughs> like just being having this great feeling of santa was the one like magic right so i i thought okay i don't i don't want them to grow up feeling like i i didn't let them experience that and at the same time i was torn because i don't want to lie to them so I've just whenever they bring up the subject I would just kind of turn it on turn it around to them like what do you think but they've lately they you know they're older and they so she got to the point where she's like I want an answer and in past uh, in the past the kids have just kind of like they saw a, a movie um, where the kids record Santa Claus I don't know if you've seen that movie I think it's on Netflix and so they got that idea and they wanted to do that and actually they want they've wanted to do that with the tooth fairy as well which will have to be another conversation for another time with them but um, the so what was I saying I was saying that um, I feel like my daughter was able to like 
nail exactly the right question to ask because if she can uh, get the information out of me that I'm the one stuffing the stockings then it's like one thing answers the other like a domino effect like okay so Santa Claus doesn't do that it's you and then I think that would just kind of um, lead to is Santa Claus real or not right so um, I wanted to buy myself a little more time so I told her okay I'm going to ask Instagram and I recorded like after she had asked me that question I told her okay I'm going to ask Instagram if they think that I should answer that question and if they say yes then then I'll I'll answer the question and she's like and you have to and you have to tell me the truth me this question again and I'll ask my Instagram if I should answer your okay. question okay do you have Chris do you put Christmas toys in our stockings every Christmas Eve <laughs> so um that's what I ended up doing, and a lot of people didn't vote, but the few that did vote mostly voted yes. And I know this is a, it's not a decision for other people to make. It's my decision as well as my husband. My husband just kind of left that whole subject up to me. <laughs> He's kind of like, go ask your mother uh, when it comes to this, right? And um, so... Uh, so I know it's it's not that I was really like wanting people to to tell me what to do necessarily it was more of buying time and um, and possibly if the majority would have said no maybe I, that would have bought me more time but you guys didn't <laughs> so uh, uh, she's like okay mom it's been a day can you check and okay the, the majority said yes so the day was about to be over, we're about to go to sleep, and she wanted me to share, you know, my answer with her. So that's the backstory of what you're going to see. My son um, just came along for the journey. I thought about just telling her and not him, but, you know, he was curious as well. And he's, he's always been more, like, skeptical of, the tooth fairy and Santa Claus compared to my daughter so um, yeah it was kind of hard and in the video you'll see I'm like <laughs> I, I was trying to get them to decide for themselves and get myself out of having to tell them trying to teach them to think critically um, but at the end they just wanted me to tell them you know they weren't satisfied with that. They wanted me to tell them, especially because they were asking me a very specific question about my actions. So that's what, when it was time to just tell them, I was very hesitant. I felt like I could never get that back. You know, as soon as I tell them that, it's it's over. Um, but um, their their dad, at one part of the video, you might not hear him, but my daughter went, to go ask him if he was the one that was stuffing the stockings and he just said no but he didn't really like um you know like he, that's all he said in this conversation and so i don't mind i don't mind being the bear the bearer of bad news <laughs> um so anyway some people might think that i'm overthinking this but you know what? Sometimes it's fun to just think about things a lot. So without further ado, further ado, here is the video where I broke the news to my kids. All right, Sadie. She wants to know if I put the presents. I made another Bible. And the Christmas stockings. And the answer is... Before I tell you... Jemaya, sit down next to us. Okay. Before I tell you, I'm going to ask you a question. What? How would you feel 
how would you feel if I said yes? And how would you feel if I said no? Who wants to answer first? Sadie? I would feel excited. If what? If you if if you did. If I was the one that did it? Mm -hmm. Why would you feel excited? Because it would be excited to know how to how you can make toys. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think someone else did it. But how will I you feel? How will you be? I'll feel like an oak. Do you think that if it was me I would I'm the one that makes the toys like kind of like a Santa Claus? No. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Mm -hmm. Sadie, that's not what she does. Jeremiah, what do you, how would it make you feel if if I was the one that put the gifts in the stocking? Would you like that or not? How would you feel? Um, I'll feel like using your hands to, to tangle a tentacle. Okay, so you just wanted to show us that. <laughs> How, what if what if I told you it was Santa Claus? How would that feel? Oh, Lord. Santa Claus doesn't come through the chimney. I would be I would I would feel feel all hysterical. What does that mean? How, what do you mean? <laughs> I would yell Maybe we can find out. Tell her, okay, I'll do something. You guys, just tell us, tell us if you want us to, to try to find out. Wait. Oh, two, on Christmas night, what you want us to, to not. My question is, Jeremiah, do you want Santa to be real or not? Real. You want him to be real? <laughs> How come? Because Father Christmas. So how would you feel if he wasn't real? Sad. You would feel sad? Yeah. Why? Very sad. Because if Santa Claus wasn't real, no big beard. No what? No big beard. Your favorite part is the big white beard. <laughs> you mean the mustache. Sadie, how would you feel if if there was no Santa Claus, like in real life? A big beard. Because Santa, Santa has magical reindeer. That's um, why. And not, magic, probably not that. Reindeer that can fly. I wouldn't like that. Um, you wouldn't like that? Because reindeer don't fly. I don't mm. think so. I don't think. I think he has reindeers, but that's not magical. Oh come on! Okay, that's enough waiting. Oh dear, really do. I am going to give you hints, and you have to decide for yourself. And maybe I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to let you decide if. If you think Santa Claus is real or not, okay? Uh, I think I'm gonna actually, give you all the hints. Actually, I know. One day, one day, Sadie hugs Santa Claus. When I will, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Oh, oh time ago. do you mean when we went on a on the boat and there was a Santa Claus there? Yeah. Okay. Santa and Sadie hugged him. I was a little way too late. <laughs> okay, so okay, so that's that's what let's talk about that. So we see Santa Claus's or yeah, one Santa. the same or different one pop up every single December. Do you think that that means that Santa Claus is real? No, I don't think so. Um, Why? Because Santa Claus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Santa Claus is made up, and you shouldn't. Eat, and even though that people think he is real, he's there. Actually, it's actually a man just is dressed up in a disguise. So, um, uh, so you think that it's a man? That so the man that Sadie was it's hugging. It's a man. 
was he, just a man in disguise or no, was he the real guy? No, he was, he was, um, he was in a costume because they want Santa to be real. They want Santa to be real? Who wants? Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm tired of saying, say no, no, no. I don't want to okay, say that. so Jeremiah decides yes, Santa is real. Yeah? Okay. Yes or no? Thumbs up or down? Thumbs up, Santa is real? Okay, and Sadie? Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. And Sadie decides, okay. I will let you decide. No! I want you to tell us. Okay, if, okay, one possibility is Santa Claus comes into our house somehow on Christmas Eve and leaves gifts in in the in the stocking. Is Obvious. that who does it? <laughs> no. That's what we're trying to figure out. Is there any <laughs> other way that do you know? I do know. You do know? I know. Well, I can tell is there something we can do for you and then you'll tell us? Yes. If what? you t listen and <laughs> think what I say. Okay. <laughs> hmm. so Come you, on. Hmm, that okay, can't really go down the chimney. Answer me this question, and I will give you my answer. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay, Jeremiah. Is there another way can uh, prizes could get into the stocking on Christmas Eve? No. God magically put, God puts makes them and puts them in. No. <laughs> Any other person in the house that would be able to do it? Dad. You, dad? That would be an option. I'll go and ask him. So. Do you think there's any other option? Daddy, you Daddy, you What about Just mom? Tell me. Just tell me. Got it. Tell me, mom. Hmm? They're asking a question. Whoa! They want to know if you are the one that puts the prizes in the stockings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, oh, that hurts. I just, you just tell me, please. Ouch. Okay, tell us now, Mom. Do you really want to know the truth or not? Yes. 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 And what if you get angry at me because of what I say? No, you should say. Especially you. Tell us. Do, are you sure you want me to tell you? Yes. Okay. Just something dramatic. Well, I <laughs> I oh, I put the things in the stocking. How? But how? <laughs> how you do that? Well, when you're asleep. Or when you are um, still in the bed early in the morning, I got up and I I ordered some things ahead of time, and I remembered to put them in the stock. Huh? Uh, we got you. I I <laughs> knew you were. This was you were something. Some you were someone who was something. Actually, you did fishing. you know? I knew. I know. Sen. I know. Since I was. I know since I was two years old. Oh. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> I do. I don't know. You always kind of said that Santa Claus wasn't real. I heard you the other years. But Sa Sadie, <laughs> last last year, she oh. said, but how can, how can Santa not exist if we get all the presents? Right? Mm -hmm. Because the evidence was presents. So... If Santa Claus doesn't leave you any presents, who leaves you the presents? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Not me. We all like bobbleheads. So, bobbleheads go like. So, guys, 
I'm happy to tell you that I am the real Santa Claus. <laughs> and I, when yeah. you guys are asleep, um, I live in the North Pole. Um, mommy, you don't. <laughs> mommy, you don't. you don't even have a beard or a Santa hat. I wear it only in the North Pole. <laughs> you don't live there, Mom. We, I know. You're just that, joking. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Okay. Did you know that actually the stockings can walk? <laughs> All right, so Sadie, oh, this whole thing happened house. because Sadie wanted, really wanted to know. So how do you feel now that you know? Happy! Why are you happy? Because I really wanted to know so bad. And you? Are you happy you know too? No, not really. <laughs> Not very sad. You're sad? Mm -hmm. Very, very sad. Okay, but here's the thing. Because you know the truth, I have something. I, you Wait, no, 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 no. I know you're like angry at me right now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I, I asked you, do you really want to know? Would you be angry with me if no. I tell you? Uh, I number? really want to know. But I have something to tell you. If you can never tell this secret to children, okay, because it's up to their. <laughs> <laughs> he has allergies. You Just in case you Oopsie! <laughs> I, oh wait, what well, I'm news? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait! I'm telling you, I'm telling you something important because just like I am your mom. <laughs> okay, now he's gonna do it for fun because the way that I told you, that was my choice. Jemai, lay down. That was my choice to tell you guys. But maybe other moms, it's not their choice to tell their kids. So do not tell other children about the stocking and about Santa Claus. Do you promise? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now wave bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Say thank you for voting. Thank you for voting. And thank always subscribe to Mommy's channel. Thank you for voting. And the squid says bye. Bye-bye. Huh?